we um, are here, we are talking about two facts. We talk about Napoleon, because Napoleon invaded Moscow. He was walking along this road to the city center. And when he was uh, retreating uh, from the, this is the western direction. Uh, this is the west. To, if to go from here, you come directly to Europe. Uh, via Belarus, Belarus, and after that Europe. Uh, and also we talk about our rich... Here, I mean, not here, but he uses this road to go back. Oh, actually, to be honest, uh, recently he has started to use helicopter. But all the members of the government use this road. They leave this direction back about four kilometers from the Moscow boundary. They live not in Moscow, not in Staffy Center. They live amongst fir trees and birch trees in the street, in the forest, because they need to happy to be healthy. <laughs> okay, it is so horrible. <laughs> Dust, sun, hot, no nature. Oh, it is very tiring, very tiring. So our government prefers not to live in such areas. They live in. Uh, ecologically clean areas and maybe you remember yesterday I told you that Moscovites to home department store why this is the reason it is hot we have enough of these wonderful structures uh, during winter and autumn when it is raining and snowing so that is why now we prefer to run away from Moscow to our countryside we are rich of forests we have a lot of forests now it's the high season of raspberry do you know raspberry bushes, raspberry berry? So, uh, the tomatoes. But we have vegetables in winter, fresh vegetables. Uh, they uh, import from Israel a lot, from Greece. Uh, avocado from Israel, for example. Uh, but we basically, what we eat in winter, we eat our potatoes, cabbage, for slim. <laughs> to be slim. Okay? So this is it. Uh, yes, and now we'll just ride around the city. This is Moscow River. We'll ride around because I don't want you to walk uh, under the sun. Just admire the beautiful views. Luzhniki is the largest sports stadium in our country. On the left, Novodevichy Convent, which we have already visited. This area this morning. Academy of Science is visible in front, the White Tower with cardiologist, and uh, she was unlucky to be born during uh, uh, Soviet times, uh, times of like coming communism. And she says that we worked just for the idea, without the money. And we had, they had to work, you know, like to be on duty or at night uh, for free. It was for free, and I tell mommy, how come, how, uh, how can you work for free? But it's not honest, it's not fair. But she said, it was our policy of the government. But the government during the Soviet times gave, gave <laughs> the salary from 19, let's say, I don't know, before, but 1950 up to 1989, before Gorbachev came, was all the same, 100 rubles. But the money was different at that time. One hundred, uh, kilogram of meat cost uh, three rubles, roughly. Uh, so the salary was the same, 100 rubles. But the, like after high school, for the beginners, uh, my 110 rubles. Drivers of different trucks and uh, workers 700 rubles, seven times more. Because worker, collective farmer were the heroes of the country. But why? Not intelligent, not smart, not to ask questions. Why you are uh, holding all the power? But they, those who hold, held all the power, they were the slaves of the people. So even now we say, uh, when we park but near, uh, on the opposite side, we see that petrol uh, station. So we say that, oh, petrol station for the slaves of the people. We still call them slaves of the people, the government. Uh, now, his rating now has grown up. Uh, we respect him and uh, we uh, rely on him.
because we want him to protect us from strange uh, politicians all over the world. <laughs> we like the way he talks. Yeah. We like uh, he, uh, the way he the, of being right. safe. She has to marry first, and after that I will. So, but I know that they have two daughters, and they study somewhere abroad, and we. I have never seen to Arbat Street, and I will represent you some of them. I will show you. After that, you open it, you can see Mikhail Gorbachev, and so on, so on, so on, up to Lenin. Lenin, Stalin, small. It's for the government. There, what, where you can see policemen, there the arch, and one of the stars. This is the star, the weight of the five-pointer star is one ton. Another one also here, one ton. But I would like to remind you that before, here there were the two-headed eagles, the symbol of our Russian power. By the way, over there, the, quite far, you can see white building. I call it, I myself, uh, and the other guy. This is one of our skyscrapers, and this is apartment house. Uh, government, when it was built by this uh, order of Stalin in 1953, government ordered uh, or gave the apartment uh, three or four families. Can you imagine one kitchen, four stoves? Commune. Commune, yes. Uh, one toilet. In the morning, queue to the toilet. My mother used to live in such, uh, something like this, but there were two families there. Uh, when she tells me about that, it's... Dormitory is different nowadays. Dormitories <laughs> for the students are luxury, comparing with what it was. <laughs> and when they tell me, when I tell them uh, that I want to be alone, I want to close the door, she... <laughs> I don't realize what it is. But I remember the queues uh, to buy some food. I remember the times when the shelves in the shops were empty. I remember those. I was a little girl, but I remember. I remember um, uh, how we wanted to buy some sour cream, and there was only one basket with uh, like glasses of sour cream, you know, plastic packed. Delicious. You know, the food during the Soviet times was of what? Uh, we did not have any artificial colors was very strictly controlled. So I remember the... I don't believe it's impossible. And uh, why? Because there was no competition. Now competition exists. Parking uh, was horrible. People parked wherever they wanted. But nowadays they have to pay for this. So nobody parks. Or maybe if they have to. The Bridge of Love on your, on your left. By the way, this is not Moscow uh, River, this is canal which solved the problem of uh, uh, floods in, in our city. Uh, this canal takes all the water and the system of the canals, I don't understand it very well, but they say that this system of canals which go around the city solved 100% uh, the problem of floods. We'll never have floods, we'll never have... Uh, uh, you know, because uh, there are some, some winters uh, we have very mu much snow, too much snow. And when it melts, when yesterday it was minus 10, today it is plus 15, can you imagine what will happen? So these canals solve that problem 100%. Okay, uh, that on um, a bridge and on the opposite side you can, on the other side you can see uh, like the trees and all of them are covered with the locks. A young couple just married, come here and they lock the lock and they throw the uh, key into the water. Mm -hmm. basically offices, I mean 100% to be honest, offices. There are several five-star hotels, business centers built recently here. Uh, but the house which you can see on the right was constructed in the 17th century. It remembers the invasion of Napoleon. It is just the facade which is uh, renovated. The buildings like this which uh, are on your right, they are uh, also very old, uh, constructed in the end of the 18th century. Of course, they are innovated, uh, and uh, they were all occupied by Moscow nobility. Before the revolution, life in Moscow was they make less and less uh, 
those narrow streets, uh, they prefer to make them pedestrian because there are so many cars. Uh, of course, we have Bentley cars, we have Porsche Cayenne cars, we have all have all that stuff. But mm, medium, uh, we prefer Honda, Hyundai, Ford, uh, which are Toyota. much cheaper. Toyota, uh, Hyundai is different kind of Hyundai. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Nissan. Yes, 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 something like this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the area which. Uh, from where you can take fantastic picture of the Kremlin ground. This is the area. This was the end, eh? uh, Three story beautiful building with the clock, and it goes all the way down. British Embassy on the left. Beautiful building, built it later. It is too, taken for rent by the British Embassy from Moscow government. Yeah. 